I know how to take raw wheat and turn it into flour, and I can make bread. And we could use the yeast from our vaginas. That would be so sick. We yeah. force yeast infections. Yeah. And so then we, we make bread. The Shut up. <laughs> huh? Are we recording? <laughs> Why? I can only say shut up if you're recording. It would have been kind of crazy if we weren't. Oh, uh, welcome to Wine About It. Wine Maya about wants attention, it. so she's cutting her bangs. <laughs> Don't make that sound when I cut my bangs. I never wear Yay. them straight like this. I always go like... I go no, look good straight. Do it. No, be straight like today. Dora. Stop! Be straight today. I don't want to look like Dora Leaves more. Come on. Uh, stop being cringe. Me? What do you mean? That's <laughs> such a doing, harsh doing accusation. Yeah, that's great. You never do them straight. They look good. No. Like Zoe de Chanel. No, they're going to call me Riley Reed. It's annoying. Dude, funny, during the drunk episode, we were talking about celebrity passes, and Aiden said his was Riley Reed, and I was like... <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I saw uh, that. I watched the whole episode. It was so good. So good. It was so, so good. good. It was so funny. They're funny. I mean, we just I just wrote off their coattails. At 40 minutes of the episode, I didn't talk. I just watched them. Which That's is funny, because... You, you did a really good job talking, and like talking to them and engaging them and blah, 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 blah. all the comments missed you they were like, where, 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 yeah we expected that we expected where, that where. yeah we expected that but it's our it's a one out of ten and it's made us three thousand dollars yeah it's so. kind of disgusting <laughs> i feel bad thanks the yard and turns out they have way more clout than maya so oh that's <laughs> 10 true. out of 10 would do again we knew that <laughs> Yeah, that Knew episode that. made us bank. I don't know how, because like none of I our hate. old episodes that, that got that many views made that much money. Uh, I think it's because men were on there, so it gave us a 25% boost in money. That is how it works. Oh. Yeah. They just get paid more. <laughs> yeah, they just, it's just that It's simple. so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. I hate all this um, stupid. What'd you do this week? And what'd you do um, this week? I you had two weeks off. I know. I feel like we haven't done this in so long. Actually, a lot has happened. I had my last one with my therapist. Um, I've been working. Uh, I went to bars. I've been watching a lot of The Walking Dead. Um, that's all. That's it. I'm finally shipping out your birthday present tomorrow. Well, freak! Yeah. I I have to overnight it. No, you don't. Why? I have to. Why? Because. It has perishable items. Oh. So I have to overnight it. And so I've had to, like, plan out the best time to overnight it. And I was like, I'm not doing an overnight on a Monday. Yeah. I'll never get there on a Monday. Yeah. So I was going to overnight tomorrow, but I realized my assistant's not coming to my house tomorrow until, like, 5 p.m. So I'll have to overnight it myself. Right, well. Ew, yuck. I have to go to the post office. It's I have fine. to mail something tomorrow as well. Wow. -y. A Father's uh, anyway. Day card for my grandfather. Oh, really? It says, oh, Happy Father's you. Day from your favorite pain in the bass. And there's a, a fish on the front. That's. Did you make it or did you no. buy it? I bought it. But I thought he would like it. Yeah. I called my stepdad yesterday, actually. That's nice. Yeah, I called him and he just talked, 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 talked. And I was like, I should probably call him more often. He sounds lonely. Oh. <laughs> Well, he's not lonely. He lives. He lives. Uh, uh, he lives with my step. He doesn't live with him. He lives like twelve minutes away from my stepbrother, mm -hmm. and he has always been a, like a grumpy old man type vibes. Mm -hmm. Even when he was forty, you know, I want to be like, like that. Yeah, he's super that. And so he's like in this community, and somehow he's like the vice president of the HOA. So he's just like telling me all this tea that like I, I thought love, couldn't be bothered. I love old normie tea. Yeah, he was like, we have this woman that's not paying her HOA fees, and we're going to kick her out. And I was like, that's kind of mean. And he's like, no, because she's rich, but she just won't pay them. And I was like, kick get her that out. bitch. Get her get out her. of there. 
get her out of there. But then there's another lady that lives next door to him. Her name is Beth. And they're watching the parade because they live in a small town. And there's a big parade for 4th of July last year. And Beth was sitting there watching. And then all of a sudden, the freaking fire truck got called to go to an emergency. And so the fire truck leaves the parade. And as it's going around the corner, it clips where Beth is sitting. She's sitting on a bench. And it obliterates her foot. It runs over her foot and completely obliterates it. And uh, she is not of the best health uh, already. And so without being able to walk, she, like, can't work for a year. And she hasn't paid her dues. And so they're, like, got to kick that. But just kidding. No, they're, like, it's fine. She's trying. She's trying, you know. And I was, like, yeah. She, her foot slack. got run over by a fire truck. Yeah. And it got obliterated. I, I, I sure did. I believe him. That sucks. Yeah. Have you ever drama. broken a bone? Um, no. I fractured. Maybe a toe, but everyone breaks thing. a toe. No, a fracture. I've had a hairline fracture in my foot from high school basketball tryouts. Someone step on you? Mm-mm. <laughs> it's not very coordinated. But you fell? Uh, I think I was just walking. Damn. But then I had to be on crutches because they're like, it's a hairline fracture. If you put too much pressure on it, it's going to break. And I was like, great. So then I didn't make the basketball team because I couldn't go to the next day of tryouts. Oh, no. But then I had to be on crutches in high school for like two weeks, which sucks because my high school had four floors and no elevator. No, I don't know. I think they like, I don't know, actually thinking about it now, what any of the like, kids in wheelchairs did. Maybe they just like, I have genuinely no clue now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe there was a secret elevator. There probably was. But they didn't give it to me for crutches. And so I'd have to go up all of these flights of stairs. And then one time I was in the lunchroom and this kid named Thomas, who has weird ears, Thomas, everyone used to make fun of your ears. And I stand by it. Your ears were freaking weird. Damn. He tripped me. Yeah, he better have done something fucked up. Intentionally. Yeah. He tripped me intentionally. Yeah, it is. Wow. Usually I do fake names, but that (laughs) bitch's name was Thomas. (laughs) And, uh, and he tripped me, and since I was on crutches, I fell flat on my face in the lunchroom in front of everybody. That's bullying. Yeah, it was bullying. And then the group of him and the boys laughed, and I was like, oh, this is great. This is good for me. Wow. For I don't, self-esteem. I've never been physically bullied, except by my brother, I guess. It's funny, because I thought to myself, like, ah, <laughs> ah, the boys. <laughs> oh, you know, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like but you I, in high school. Well, they weren't even my f- group of guy friends is the funny thing. They weren't oh. like, I was I was just kind of like, I kind of like just made excuses for them. I'm like, that's what guys do, lol. Yeah, that's, that's too bad. <sighs> Did I ever tell you how I asked three boys to prom one time and they all said no and I asked them in elaborate ways? Yeah. I did tell you that? I can't believe you made it to three. You, you have told me that. <laughs> what I, I would have stopped after <laughs> the first one, I'm going to be honest. What? Well, they all had really good reasons why they couldn't go. <laughs> what were they? Did I? So the first one, I feel like it's been long enough that I can tell these stories. It's been I long enough. Have I, have I, no, I'm saying like, have I told them on the pod? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were like, oh, maybe they're going to be mad. <laughs> no. Uh, I, them. I think you I'll have. I'll say their real ahead. names too. Wait, can we do the wine? I yeah, want to drink. You up the wine though, and you pissed me off. It's not me who f***ed it up, but it's yeah, it my is. responsibility. Uh huh. Thank so. you for taking accountability. Sure thing. <laughs> I didn't buy the wine, is what I'm saying. Um, we have two different wines because uh, I don't have the right one. Maya has one that we've already had. I'm so sorry. I'm actually sorry. Thank you. This is for the second fault. time that the wine has been f***ed up. Again, it's not really my fault, but it is my responsibility. So. <laughs> It's on me, guys. It's on me. So but we're both gonna drink wine, and how about I'll drink a lot of it to make up for it. I actually can't drink that much because I don't know <gasps> if I should. On because you're meds. anti-depressed. Eh? I don't know. Should I call them that if they're like natural? Um, maybe you shouldn't drink today. I know. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. You just started them. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Save that one. I'll get that one. I'll just drink, and you can sit there and look sad. Guys, um, today we... Well, what are we going to tell the Patreon? That I drank that this? wine again. They're going to they already had that. Cutie, I don't... I'm going to be honest. I don't know how many people are buying it and drinking. I don't think they're going to be concerned about it. 
I'm scared. I'm looking at our Patreon and seeing how long ago we posted it. What if I just, what if I delete the post <laughs> and those dumb bitches won't know? This is Guy Mousset Coats de Rhone. Appalachian Coats de Rhone Controlly. Dang it, we don't have a tag on it, so I can't just sort, sort, sort. Oh, media type image. Wait, this is great. Okay, so we had, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this. Maybe going. they really liked it and they'll be excited to have it again. I got that out real easy this time. Gross. I'm gonna try to trick them. If I find it, I'm gonna delete it and they're not gonna know. I'm a poor. Okay. I'm gonna put the reverb on. Was it nice? It was nice. I'm All actually right. we never posted on Patreon. So it might be a really old episode. Maybe you're, you maybe you've been gaslighting me. I'm maybe, maybe I have. have. Oh my god, I could be. That's crazy if you are. <laughs> Somebody please go back and check our old videos and tell me if we've had that wine before. We'll read the wine and tell them about it at least and I'll drink my water. All right. We'll also um, talk about my antidepressants later, so you guys aren't like, oh. I'm also pregnant, that's why I'm not drinking. Congratulations! Happy Father's Thank Day you. to Ludwig. Well, it's already aborted uh, next There's not week. really a- Damn! There's not really a thing. It just says government warning. You haven't said its name. You haven't, you haven't I even said I did its name. too! You don't listen to me! I read the whole label. It's because you didn't say it in French. That's definitely I a French did, name. I did, actually. Really? Yes. Say it in French now. Again. Guy Moset Coats de Rhone. Oh. Appalachian Coats de Rhone Controlly. I already said that. Anyway, it doesn't have a thing that says like anything about it. It just says don't drink. See, that's why pregnant. I think we had this wine because I remember talking about how it didn't say anything, and I was like, "That's okay, stupid." Well, it's it's not it's not a problem. No one's gonna have a problem that's with it. I feel such fine a about big it. Big pour. I know. I got really into the wine pour because it was like because the, the reverb. <sighs> so it's just gonna be me. That's at least ten ounces. Is your boyfriend coming over tonight? No. Do you ever get horny when you drink? No. I get tired. Hmm. It tastes like iron. It tastes like blood. Ooh. What was Team that? Edward. What was that reaction? That was so weird. Because <laughs> I was thinking of all the vampire girlies. Oh. We have a few, and now they're going to put those. They're going to have. What do you their... mean we have a few? Whoa, we've got a few. A few what fans? <laughs> we got a few fans vampires? that are vampires. No, we don't. So I went to I went to New Orleans once, and I did this like walking ghost tour, and they take you to all these things, and they took us to this vampire club because New Orleans has like a lot of like vampire lore, I suppose. Okay. Um, and so I go, we go to this vampire club and we're standing outside of it and they're like, oh yeah, this is the vampire club. And they're like, there's lots of vampires in New Orleans. And I, and I stop. I, I stop the tourist group and I go, I'm going to need you to elaborate, sir. Like, this is, <laughs> what do you mean? And he's like, he's like, well, they don't actively drink blood anymore. Like, but it's more of like the lifestyle. And I was like, actively anymore. And he was like, well... There's, like, theories that, like, there were real vampires that lived in New Orleans that used to suck the blood of, like, humans. But now, like, it, vampires that get together, if they ever do blood, they do animal blood and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just, I was like, okay. And then we we go into the vampire club, and it's just a bar that's, like, a little goth. And I'm like, okay, you're just goth girls. Oh. Maybe I'm crazy. If all my, we have two vampire fans. Vampire fans... Where is that? So specific. What do you mean? Have you talked to them? I just know. It's just bad. Oh. It's just statistics. Reveal yourselves in the comments and tell us. Maybe I don't. Maybe I have the lore wrong. Tell There's us more be about two it. Two New Orleans vampires that watch us. Okay. Back but up. This is a great wine for your dinner parties. Is what I was okay. trying to say. Here you go. It's it's great. It tastes like blood. Um, what were their reasons? Oh right. So first there was Nick. Okay. So Fake I, 
And that's his real last name. Damn! Yeah. So I make Nick a giant cake. It's like 18 layers. Like, just like, oh not like tiered, so but just 18 layers. It was so tall. It was like a freaking Dr. Seuss cake. It was like barely staying up. And inside the cake was a spoon, a wooden spoon, a really long one. That's kind of what kept it all together. That said my name on it. And then on the cake, like piped on it, said it would be really sweet if we went to homecoming mm -hmm. or whatever. I don't remember what dance it was. Yeah. And I went to class early, went up to, you know, four floors with this giant cake. And I put it on his first period desk. Like I asked the teacher and like, yeah. So not only did he know that I asked him, so did the entire school. Mm -hmm. um, so that was cool. And then he like, he gets it and he like texts me and he's like, hey, I I can't go uh, to homecoming with you because it is the same day that my dad, who is a cop's friend, died. And we're all getting together because he died on this day many years ago. And it's like a very sensitive day. And I was like, okay, sure, Nick. Was he at the of dance? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. He was. Dude. But I didn't know he was still going to go to the dance, right? And so then I was like, oh, dust, dust off your shoulders. Time to go go next. GG, go next. And so then there's a kid named Jeff. And I remember this to this day. Like, screw you, Jeff. Because he, like, acted cool after this, after he said no to me. Ew. Um, Jeff was friends with Nick. And if I remember correctly, I feel like Nick, like, suggested I ask Jeff. So maybe this was a big prank. <laughs> but, uh, so I go to Jeff's house. And, um, because, like, you know, parents would always be like, yeah, like, whatever. And so we go to his room and we fill it up with balloons. And when you pop one of the balloons, it has my name in it. And it had a poster mm -hmm. that said, it'd be popping if we went to homecoming together. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so then he, he does it. And then he texts me and he's like, actually... My family is really close with Nick's, and we got to be there for Nick's dad, whose friend died. And I was like, oh, it's understandable. That's my bad. That's my bad, Jeff. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And they were both the dance. Yeah. Holy but I, I didn't know that. I believed them at that point. So I was like, okay, dust off your shoulders. On to the next. Um, and then it was a boy, it was a boy named Lance and, uh, and everyone make fun of him and say he was like in, in, in sync or whatever. Um, but he was on the basketball team and me and three girlfriends were like, oh, we'll just ask these three guys, this three group of friends, of course. Right. And so we go to the basketball game and we paint their names on our stomachs and then they go into timeout, they go to the back room, and then they come out, and their parents, their parents are holding the sign that says homecoming above our heads, and then we, like, lift up our bellies, and we show their name, and it's so cute, and then afterwards, after the game, we all go to, like, the burger stop, and Alex, who my friend Christine asked, he, like, goes over to her at the burger place, and they're, like, getting ice cream, and it's so cute, and then, uh, uh what was the guy i think tim was the guy that my my other friend ashley asked and he goes over in there and i'm sitting at the burger stop and i'm like where's lance and lance is there and he's just like avoiding me and i'm like oh god i've done it again <laughs> this was a mistake but like lance's parents like loved me i don't know i genuinely to this day don't really know what was wrong with me uh Maybe people just, like, knew they weren't going to get any. Maybe I was just, like, such a loser they didn't want to be seen with me. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I feel like I've been a pretty, like, overly self-aware person where I'm, like, anxious about it. In high school, I wasn't. I was just, like, normal, I thought. But then they made me feel very not normal. Um, but then Lance texted me and has said his dad doesn't let him go to dances because he's uh because they're mormon and so he can't go to dances but he had gone Did to he? a dance the year prior he didn't go Did to that go? dance though no he wasn't at homecoming but instead i went with my friend i just went with my friend dude 
Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> no wonder you're depressed. That's yeah. tough. That's yeah. a tough run. It was a tough run, but that's okay, you know? I'm richer I, than all of them now. I think about that sometimes. I don't think I ever asked a guy to a dance. What? Even if it's girl's choice? I don't think so. I don't, I don't remember setting something up or asking anybody. Yeah, I don't think I did. Dude, I did have one that was... Okay, I don't know why this is the high school nostalgia episode. Maybe because everyone just graduated or it's just on my mind today for some reason. But I... So there was this kid. His name was... Uh, I'll do a fake name for this one. Brad. Um, so there's this guy named Brad. And I had just gotten out of a relationship and I was kind of hanging out. It was... what I've talked about this before, how like senior year all i lost all my friends to like my ex like they all went with the ex and i was like crap so i'm i'm in this new group of friends and i don't really know them and i'm like oh they're so much better than my old group of friends though like they're mm -hmm. just way more accepting and fun and they did like yeah. brunches and i was like that's great Cute. like honestly i should have stayed with them but instead later in the year i went back to my friends that treated me like it. but nice. anyway so it's been popular in high school but i uh go and like hang out with these guys and they're great and there's a guy named brad and i think he's kind of cute and he seems nice and whatever and so i ask him to homecoming i'm just gonna say homecoming again because i don't know any of the dances <laughs> i ask him to homecoming and i we fork his lawn so we go and fork his lawn and then on one of the forks is my name right so he's to pull out all the forks and the sign says uh it'd be fucking awesome if you came no to homecoming. but that would be good dang Thank it you. That's why he didn't say yes. No, he did say... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. This is a drama. There's a twist. No, I said, I'm confused and I've come to a fork. I want to go to homecoming with a really big dork. Cute. A little bit of negging. It's kind of cute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And If you guys need any help... I don't know why you have to ask him to prom. You didn't have to throw Let him. me know. You have to insult him. I'll ask anyone to prom. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's go to prom, viewers. Not the vampire viewers. I don't want to go with you. Oh my god. <laughs> you freak me out. Discrimination. Um so we do that. And then this was like it was really nice. So we used to have this hike by our school that had a tire swing. And mm. we'd go there a ton. Like like people would go there a ton. It's a hike up to the, like a uh, kind of top of a mountain and then there's a tire swing that like went off the side of the hill but high school that was like the place to be everyone would yeah. like kind of hang out there that's where you do drugs and i didn't do any mm -hmm. um but so one time like that group of friends was like yo player we're gonna do a tire swing and i'm like wicked and uh i get out of the car start walking up because uh and we start walking over and there's a teddy bear on the ground and it says Spooky. blair oh yeah, and so I pick Spookier. it up, and tied around its wrist is yarn. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I follow this trail, and this trail what is a literally- a horror movie. That's horrifying. No, because all my friends were with me, and it was like middle of the day. Oh, should I have been afraid? I, would I was a different person in high school. If there was a bear with my name on it attached to yarn, and I had to follow the yarn to get to the destination- It's homecoming season, and like, all the girls with me are like giggling. Sounds I know. Like a horror movie to me. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, and I so I follow this yarn, and it's like two miles worth of yarn. And as I'm going, there's like a bag of candy tied to it, or like a rose, and it's like it's like pretty cute and really well thought out. Yeah. And I finally get to the bottom because it was like at the, it was I say a hike, but it was weird because you drive up to the peak and then you'd walk down kind of i don't know it's a long okay. story it's a weird it was like a canyon okay. anyway so i get to the bottom and he's standing on a bridge with a big thing of roses uh, with balloons that just say yes and it was like really That's sweet and i'm like cute. brad loves me right i'm like he's great and you're so, so lucky that... it was brad <laughs> you're so lucky it was him at I the end i'm gonna get murdered in the middle of the day with all my friends giggling who told me to go there yeah it's Problem solved if your friends are giggling through it. What? Dude, then you guys friends? are good to go. Oh then you're God. good to go. I'm never going to homecoming with you. <laughs> Buzzkill. True. It would be super illegal for us to go to homecoming. <laughs> we should go to homecoming. It'd no, there's fun. no way we could get in. I could get in. Actually, I probably could get into a you homecoming dance, in. I'm going to be honest. That's your next YouTube video. Maya having fun for once. I broke into the school's homecoming. <laughs> so illegal.
<laughs> no, if you don't do anything, you're not creepy. If you yes, like, you <laughs> are. <laughs> if I went in there and I did nothing, I just stood in a corner the whole time. If that was a man that did that, broke into the homecoming, this jail time. Yeah, but you're not a man. And we take the wins we get as women. Yay! Equality. Yeah. We can go to home. Lack thereof. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Something went wrong. I'm waiting. Something went wrong. Yeah. So we've got like a week and a half until homecoming. And so we we start doing that thing where you like are like, you know, flirting in high school. And I'm like, come to my house. I've talked about this before, but I live really on the table. Beep, beep. Continue. Oh, no. Oh. We haven't talked about maybe we haven't talked about the story specifically before, but we've talked about I lived really far away. I was really poor and I lived really far away from my <laughs> high school. I've talked about this. No, I said hundred dollars because you said up. come. I was, we're not on the same page right now. <laughs> no. No, we are on the same page. Okay. No, I know I know you were doing a throwback, but okay. I was saying I've talked about being poor before. Okay. I was doing a throwback to the yard episode. I know, and the beep beep. And yeah, I, said, I know you're doing a throwback. I know. Okay, okay. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Okay. Agree to disagree. Okay, so you're poor. <laughs> so I'm poor. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why Nick and Jeff and Lance didn't love me. Maybe I don't know. No one wanted to go to the homecoming with a poor girl. They were worried they weren't going to get a boutonniere. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Wait, so what happened? No, this with is the- a different dance. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I got. To- I went. Th- I threw back again. Um, beep, beep. So we start doing that dating thing. I'm like, come to my house, and I lived about like 45 sure, minutes sure. away from my school. Um, I went to my school because it had special. It had special hey. classes for smart people. Oh. And I uh, was. She's very- dyslexic. That's why I said that. <laughs> well it turns out if you're dyslexic you can still go to the it's the ib a or the ap classes you know yeah. yeah ap classes so i lived like 45 minutes away and i went to i had they had the ap classes and so i had to go to that school because i was a smart girl not that ap classes do fucking anything for you all high schoolers drop your ap classes they're a waste of time that's not true i got a lot of credits from ap's how what do you mean i got a five on Three of my tests and didn't get one credit. College, I didn't get one college credit. I don't get it. How? I don't know why you didn't get a college credit. I, I don't know. <laughs> Are you serious? I, I had to take one math class in college. I was done. Donezo. Jeez. Yeah. APs are sick. That's absurd. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was crazy with the APs. I took five APs my senior year. I think I did too. Boom, bam college done okay any, whatever well they didn't give me any college credit so i guess stay in your ap's if you want i turned out fine wait i stayed in them okay. <laughs> uh anyway so we drive 45 minutes away we like we had like this inside joke i don't know about chimichangas i don't know why okay cute uh yeah it was like about how like chimichangas are just fried burritos and so it's like we should make homemade chimichangas <laughs> i know but it, it was like we could fry anything and it's a chimichanga now it's it okay. like, it so stupid no that's um, funny <laughs> <laughs> so we drive to my house and we had stuff to make burritos and then we had my mom's fryer and we were gonna fry like gummy bears we were just going to fry stuff and see how it fried. And okay. that was our hobby for that. Disgusting. <laughs> I know. And we did it. And turns out gummy bears just turn into goo when you fry them. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so we do that, blah, blah. And we're driving back, um, back to where he lives, which is by the school. And we're driving back and I'm in his car because I had to go back to like cheer practice because mm-hmm. um, we had like a free fourth period, both of us. So we like went out to my house and we're driving back because we both, I had to go to my cheer. And um we're driving back and as we're driving the exit is like right there for the school and he's like going really fast and not in the lane to exit so i casually because it's you know most high schoolers aren't driving on the highway like as much as i was in high school so i casually like i was like oh it's this exit and he snaps at me like insta like don't tell me how to drive and i was like yikes yowzer 
and back then i had a lot of self-worth and so i was like red flag i better i better <laughs> better get out of cut this off like Respect. this is bad yeah, yeah. I was, that's, this is what's crazy is i had i i don't know why they didn't like me anyway it's fine um and and i was like oh i i wasn't trying to tell you what to do just a lot of people miss this exit like i have friends that have come to my house and they miss it and he was like well i wasn't going to and i was like okay uh great 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 and then in um and then like i was like just severely uncomfortable i was like this sucks like that was like any it was like that quick of an ick that i was like that made me Mm -hmm. so uncomfortable like i'm i there's no way i'm going to homecoming with him next week like i don't know what i'm supposed to do like i can't spend a whole like he's made me so uncomfortable and so then i uh i like tell my that new group of friends i'm like telling them about it and my one friend katie she's like oh well me and kevin just broke up she's like me and kevin just broke up and i don't really want him to go with another girl and i am i'm just gonna go with like his guy friend because like we're in that weird stage right now Mm -hmm. and she's like will you just go with kevin like so i know he's not going with another girl and like because i'm like friends with kevin because they they were like on again off again just drama 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 okay and i and like and kevin was super funny and like great and i love spending time with kevin so i was like uh i was like i don't know how to like do this yeah how do you make that transfer yeah i was like uh and they're like oh it'll be like super easy because i was like i really didn't want to go with him so it was like worth it i think because he made me feel so uncomfortable but i like we we the it's such a high school thought our way of making the transfer was a few days later i said hey brad um i haven't told you this because i wasn't sure where it was gonna go but ever since katie and kevin broke up kevin and i have been like talking casually and we're in love I was like, what I have to go to homecoming with strategy. Kevin. It was an I awful can't strategy. Can't think of, but we're in love. A worse we one. Love. It was so funny. So how do you take it? He, I believe he was mad, and then he stopped replying to me. But then Kevin and I went to homecoming, and it was so much fun. Safe. You want to see a picture? Yeah. I'll find one. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy, dude! I should. I have homecoming pictures somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, wait. I have it on my computer, actually. I definitely don't. I definitely don't have them in well, my I phone Well, I recently either. went home and got um, some of my pictures. I don't. I have this really sad story that I'm not going to trauma dump on the podcast right now as to why I don't have any pictures from, like, age 18 to 25. Um, but uh, before then, I had a, a different computer, and I do have pictures, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Um, and one second one second oh someone's walking outside my house with a dog oh my gosh this is so funny actually um this was this was definitely homecoming um where is a picture of me and me and kevin uh viewers if you find a teddy bear in the woods that has your name on it and a string attached don't follow the string unless it's homecoming season regardless of if you're a high schooler or not then you can follow it oh i only have i have two pictures one of me and kevin at dinner and one of me and me and katie also i was spray tan and it looks like my face makeup does not match my body at all oh no (laughs) and i did not realize until right now look little babies oh my god that is that's crazy it does not look like you at all it's so weird this is when i had severe eating disorder (laughs) you also don't look like you're in high school there i weighed 99 pounds here it was wicked and then there's me and kevin wow yeah that's that's the only picture i have of the two of us i guess that's a really good picture (laughs) thank you we look good we went paintballing for our like pre-activity that's sick oh wait actually this is such a better high school photo you can see my cheer pom-poms in the background oh my god that's so funny i don't have any high school photos it's so sad There's this is me and Kevin. And you can see my pom-poms in the background. 
cool. That's such a high school photo. Look at my Whatever, French really tip is. nails. I like French tips. I still yeah. like French tips. So funny. You want to know something really sad? I have a picture from but... 2014, and I look the exact same. Really? Like, I really think I look like this still. This is from 2014. You do. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You haven't aged. Well, that's a good thing, I guess, if we're living in the superficial, if we're validating superficial whatever. Oh, I have a homecoming picture. <gasps> Show it! It's homecoming episode in the summer. 2016. It should be the graduation episode, but... Homecoming. Focus! Fo focus. Well, yeah. Wait. 2016 homecoming you were in high school am i that much older than you cutie i graduated in 2016 oh i was a senior here you were a freshman when i was a senior is that right i don't know if i graduated in 2012 yeah i would have bullied the shit out of you <laughs> i'm kidding i wasn't i was you want to see bullied. me as a baby <laughs> you would have bullied me yeah I don't have any baby pictures. I look pissed off. That's me and my sister. You're the one in the front? Yeah. You don't look as pissed off as your sister. I know. She looks so mad. She looks really mad. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, that was a fun reminiscing. It was a fun reminiscing. I don't have any, like... I didn't ask anybody to dances in high school. I did. I went to three proms, all with the same guy. Um, I went to all the homecomings with the same guy as well. Uh, <laughs> you were wifed up. I was wifed up in high school. Um, yeah, that's it. Nothing crazy from dances that I can recall. Dude, I remember. So one time, I didn't go with the popular girls. Oh my gosh, I have so many good dance stories. Actually, dance stories. I don't know if I don't know if they're I don't know if people want to hear them. I don't know if it's worth taking up more time of the podcast talking about them. So maybe I'll share them for another time. We can do a dance story every episode. <laughs> okay, cutie dance stories. Cutie I just dance don't have stories. any. I don't have any interesting I have ones. So many. Your your my tenure... high school was literally like a like a sitcom though. My high school experience was like a sitcom. Oh, like it was just mine crazy. was fine. Mine was a reality show. It wasn't fine, but it was fine. Um, your teddy bear horror story reminded me. I saw a trailer for a movie that we need to watch. Is it the Pooh Bear movie? No. There's the Winnie the Pooh movie that's like a scary movie. Oh, no, but it is scary. There, there's a movie. It's a movie on skinwalkers. It's, I think it's coming out this year. You said year. it! Yeah. And the Wait, trailer. It's a movie movie? Yeah, I think so. Space, it's called like do, a hollow tree or do something we have like that. The, do we have the technology to watch a trailer while recording? I have the timestamp. You have the timestamp? Yeah, I like of the trailer. Wait, why? Don't I could we show watch you the trailer. I could show you on my phone. <laughs> We're such a ghetto podcast. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'll show you on my phone. We don't have that technology yet. We'll figure it out. Oh, wait. <gasps> we do have that technology. Our producer just let us know. Oh, it's By the way, so everybody, good. everyone in the comments, we, we do have a new producer. We got space, space on the... Space. Space on the set. Well, while he is figuring out how to get that set up real quick, uh, quick, quick update, mental health update. I started... Um, I, I was very brave. And I She's started... She's impressed. I'm antidepressed. I started the uh, natural supplements that my psychiatrist recommended, the natural antidepressants, and I think they are working. I, I don't think yesterday like when perfect, we were on the phone, I, I literally working. after we hung up yesterday, I told Caleb, I was like, she seems happier. I, mm, it's a weird, it's weird. I'm having weird. I'm on day five of them. I started them on Thursday. Right? Is that math? Day four? I don't know what day you started them. I'm on know. day four of them. She told me that I wouldn't feel, like, main effect in for two weeks. Um, but I can definitely tell that I can I can focus way easier. I can, like, I have more of a motivation to talk because I haven't, like, 
I've been like very just down. I don't care to fucking open my mouth. Like nothing I say is worthwhile is what like, which is bad for when you're on two podcasts. Right. Um, but so I, I can tell that I'm down to talk more. I can tell that I'm like um, somewhat better in that aspect. But I, it's not the same feeling of dissociation. Like I'm not feeling like uh, I'm not saying feeling the same sense of just like really out of it. But I do still feel a little, like, buzzy, almost, if that makes sense. But I'm hoping that'll just kind of wear off. Like, I'm having a hard time feeling grounded slash in the moment. Yeah. Um. I mean, I still, I mean, it's baby steps, right? Like, you just started yeah. them. It's actually shocking that you have any, that you've noticed anything this early yeah. on. So it's cool. Yeah. It's exciting. I'm stoked about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. I if anything, it's helped me a little bit because I like even just being able to focus is kind of such a huge positive swing because I haven't mm -hmm. been able to focus for the past like three months. Yeah. Um. So being able to focus has helped a ton, and it's kind of softened my heart and mind to the idea of doing like real antidepressants if needed. Uh, mm -hmm. Which I, of course, I'm hoping I won't need them only because I'm afraid of them. But it does make me feel a little like, okay, well, if this is kind of how it would feel like, then maybe I'm down type thing. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. So. Great start. So yeah, good start. But I mean, I definitely have way more like, I can feel the serotonin. Like, I'm not kidding you. That sounds crazy, but I can. What does it feel like? Like, just less and heavy. I feel way less heavy. That's sick. Yeah. Like, it just feels like... Like, sometimes when I say, I've said before, like, man, I'm so f out of it, I can't even, like, articulate a sentence. Mm -hmm. It's almost, that almost comes from, like, a weight. Like, it almost feels like opening my lips right. is, like, too much work. Like, yeah. it, it just feels less heavy. Cool. Um, yeah. So, it's kind of interesting. There you go, guys. If you're thinking about yeah. it. And that is, sign. that is a natural supplement that um, is pretty, like apparently pretty like pretty wildly available pretty wildly safe obviously i'm not telling you to like you know yeah, don't go, go out there and try and, like, it. Do it yeah yeah but i will say like i was talking to taylor my assistant and she has been kind of having some struggles and she doesn't know like what she wants to do and she's she's gonna try it so it's over the counter is it yeah you can just yeah it's just like cool. getting vitamin d or whatever like i would say start with vitamin d before <laughs> Jump. If I if there is one supplement that I feel safe like recommending to nearly anyone, it's vitamin D. Like almost everyone has mm -hmm. a vitamin D deficiency, so that's probably worth. But uh, yeah, it's super worth it. If you are on antidepressants, do not take this. You can get something mm -hmm. called like serotonin, whatever, where you get too much serotonin. So mm -hmm. do not take any natural supplements if you are on antidepressants already. But anyway, uh, again, I'm not recommending this. I'm just saying it is like a pretty wildly available option so that's kind of cool cool but, yeah that's sick i'm excited to see how it works yeah me too have we got a few more weeks until we kind of figure out but um yeah nice are you ready to watch this trailer yeah i'm confused why it's 22 minutes it's the full it's not movie. The, the trailer's not no, no no we'll watch like a minute of this trailer wait why is the trailer 22 minutes i don't get it i don't know maybe wait maybe this is no i don't know it says i just saw that i saw a trailer on tiktok Maybe it's only 22 minutes. Maybe we watch it on Patreon. Oh my god, do we watch minutes. it on the Patreon? Yeah. Oh, crap. Let's watch the whole what? thing. This is the trailer I saw on TikTok. You can play. I'm ready. I can't hear it. Me neither. Tragedy. We've never done this. Hold on, guys. We've never done this. Sorry, we're new. Audio listeners, we're watching porn, but there's no sound. <laughs> Whoa. All right, time for us to fill in the audio. You first. I used to do that with my friend in high school. <laughs> my guy friend. When I was one of the guys. And I and they asked you to make porn no noises no, for funny. No, no, for no. Funnies. It wasn't like that. It was... It was it was Blair, it'd be, it'd be like, so funny if you moaned in my ear right now. <laughs> we'd all we'd all be at Riley's house and we'd be playing Halo and then we'd be done playing Halo and then he'd go to his DVR and he'd pull up like Squirtathon 3000 or whatever porn he had saved from HBO Max. And then he would play it and we'd mute it and we would just have funny conversations. We wouldn't like make porn noises. We'd be like, Wow. Hey, yeah. We'd funny ad lib. For, it was That's funny. It's pretty funny. <laughs> they weren't sexually attracted to me. <laughs> None of them would go to dance with me. So I can oh. assure you that was not the situation. <laughs> All right. Producer. Trailer. Are we ready? 
It's looking like a no. It might not have the capacity. We might not. We might have to save this for another week. We don't have. We don't know how to add audio. So you know what? If you want to see this, it's going to be on the freaking Patreon. We're going to watch the whole thing on the Patreon. Oh, I'm She's going to die. Already. Can I explain? Let's Here, let me that. take it back. Let me Maya. audibly explain Maya. the trailer. Maya. What? Maya. What? Take it back. Take what back? You're going to die. You're not going to die. You are not going to die. Well, okay. I was being hyperbolic That's for more effect. Convincing. Thank you. Can I... I will explain the trailer. Yes. Okay. So, there's this guy. He's, wa- he's like, hiking, right? And then he hears screaming. Like, from far away, a man screaming. <gasps> but the weird thing about the screaming is that it's almost like a soundboard. Like, it's the same clip. Like, the same scream over and over and weird. over. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so he That's runs over to where the, screen, the scream is. And then he looks through his binoculars. And there's this ma- naked man standing far away in the field, like, looking at the sky, doing the same scream over and over. Naked dude. Like, butt naked. Just in the field, right? And then the guy looking through the binoculars, the hiker, his watch beeps, like an alarm or whatever. And then he, like, turns it off. And then the screaming stops once the, once the watch beeps. And then he looks back through his binoculars. And it's just... Gone. The naked guy just on all fours sprinting at the binoculars. Stop! <laughs> like, he That's heard, he, like, heard the beeping and he stopped screaming and, like, <laughs> it was crazy. It was actually kind of scary. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm really okay. excited. I think it'll be good. I guess we're doing also, that on the Patreon. Along that line of horror we stuff. Hit- oh. We hit 7,000 on the Patreon, so she has to watch Miss Americana, and we're going to put that on the Patreon. Anyway. Yeah, we also have to watch the Taylor Swift documentary that will be on the Patreon. Um, I've been watching a ton of The Walking Dead, and by a ton, I mean I'm, like, almost done with the fifth season in, like, two weeks. Not wow. because I don't sit there and binge it, like... I, I like know, how you bed. feel guilty instantly after you just said that you've watched The Walking Dead. Well, like, that no, makes it sound like I've just been, like, like sitting not there. Not that I'm chilling out. Don't worry, guys. I'm not relaxing. I'm not relaxing. <laughs> no, I, I just have it in my pocket while I'm doing stuff, so I'm, like, always... It's just, like, always playing. And mm-hmm. something that I realized today is if we were in a couple questions, if mm-hmm. an apocalypse happened and mm-hmm. we were not able to communicate with each other, mm-hmm. if I had... The des- I feel like you wouldn't come get me. But if I wanted to come get you, uh, we would... If I tried to get to California uh, and you tried to get to so Texas, hard. there's no way we would cross paths and then we would never see each other again and then we'd have to just assume we were both dead. So I feel like we should have a meeting place. Oh, well, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if we get some of those, what if we get each other those GPS things? Like GPS, like obviously cell phones don't work, cell phone towers don't work, but there's like the old school like GPS. A compass. <laughs> What if we give each other compasses? And then what if we call out to each other? Yeah. What if we give each other the compass from Davy Jones Locker that always points at what you desire most and that's each other? Mm. But I don't know how to get that. I don't think we're gonna get that. I just think okay, we should have a meeting place. I think we should have an agreed upon meeting place. That's so sad when one of us gets there and the other one doesn't. Yeah, and then we're just then we're just gonna have to be like, Well, she's dead. She's got to be, because this was the meeting okay, place. Okay, I have a good idea. We're, okay. we're thinking in between California and Texas. I have a great idea. We're going to do what the Mormons did, and we're going to stop in Utah. Okay, where? Um, they have a place in Utah called This Is The Place State Park that still to this day... <laughs> this is funny. I have family in Utah. I, um, I think I've, t- I've talked about this on my stream before. To this day... Actually, let me look it up. There's a place called... This is the place, State Park, and you go there, and how much is the admission, actually? I'm looking at it. There won't be admission in an apocalypse, just saying. I know, so that's that's the good news. Um, oh, wait, it's called This is the Place Heritage Park. I guess it's not a state park. Um, and you go there, and you, like, churn butter, and there's blacksmithing demonstrations, wow. and you can pan for gold, and wow. there's tin smithing, and there's Native American village tours, which feels pretty offensive. That's uh, a lot. Yeah, and then there's Brigham Young Donuts, which will definitely be closed during the apocalypse. Definitely uh, closed. There's a stable and a petting zoo, and wow. it's $20 for an adult to get in, and everyone there is dressed like uh, Mormon pioneers. So that's where you want to go? That's where we should meet. And then we should restart the church. Oh, okay. I Be remember honest. all of the rules. Would what? you just 
yourself because you'd have to live outside with bugs. No. Oh my god. No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. I no, I'm fine. I go hiking. I go outside. Okay. I don't like when bugs are inside. I'm fine if they're outside. Okay. But if it's my space, it's like, dude, you have such a big house out there. Chill. But your space is now outside, so they'll be living with you. Yeah, so then we're just roommates at that point. Our relationship changes. Okay, big. I like that. I'm like, you gotta contribute to the milk fund. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so we meet at This Is The Place Heritage Park in Utah. Also, you need to learn how to use a weapon ASAP. You need to learn how to use, like, a crossbow. Oh! I know how to use bows. Okay, that's big. I taught- in Back in Washington, I taught at a Boy Scout camp, and I would teach- I taught archery. That's sick for us. Yes, I can shoot. I'm pretty good. I'm That's pretty good at aim. Big. I, actually, I have a gun. I have a steady I can ass use a arm. Gun. Okay, you can um, use a bow and arrow and I'll use a gun. You gotta line up with your ear. Yeah, I got a bow. I can use a gun if I need to. I went- I've gone shooting. Gun would be I annoying, because we need to find so much ammunition, it would be yeah. exhausting. Oh, we both need to learn how to hotwire cars ASAP. And we need to learn how oh. to siphon gasoline. I would I not practice. Really? Yeah. I grew up poor. <laughs> Did you steal gasoline? Never. You siphoned it with your mouth as a no. kid? No. Oh. But one time- <laughs> <like> shifty eyes. <laughs> well, my dad was a landscaper, and one time his truck ran out of gas, and he, all of his gas tins were empty, but his lawnmower still had gas in it, so he had to siphon the- gas from the lawnmower into his truck cool and you do you have to use a you have to use a hose and you go and then you have to go and spit out of your mouth yeah i can siphon gas okay not a problem that's big you learn how to siphon gas i'll learn how to hotwire you car to hotwire so we can I already steal learned. cars um i think a hard thing will be killing animals to eat I could do it. Really? Oh, for sure. I could hunt to survive in an apocalypse. Yeah. Ugh. I got an ag degree, baby. I grew up in the ag industry. I'm ready to go. Hmm. I'll sacrifice a do you, wig. Do you have to... What if... What if... Actually, maybe we just meet at your sanctuary because then we can eat your animals. No! <laughs> no! I don't want to. We can eat. We can eat your neighbors. All of your neighbors' goats. We can eat my neighbors, not mine. You have so many goats. We're gonna have to eat them at some point. Maybe. Oh, I only have three. Um, five soon. Yeah, we're That's gonna it. have to eat them. My neighbor has like forty. That's more goats than I have. Yeah, it is. Okay, forget about the Mormons. We have to go eat your goats. Okay, so you're coming here. So yeah, forget but Utah. it's gonna take me a while. What's Hurry more up. in the middle? Where's Wait, the map? no, do you map. need to New Mexico? New Mexico. <gasps> New New Mexico is where High School Musical is. Arizona, so we, New Mexico. Let's meet at East High. Be know. Wildcats. I need a map. America map. I'm good. We can it. we can meet in Las Cruces, New Mexico. That's so much closer to you than me. Okay, we gotta meet on the Arizona. border of Arizona and New Mexico. That looks like kind of the middle. Okay. It's gonna be somewhere hot, though. I don't want to live there. Oh my god. The These things don't matter anymore. Apache National Forest? I bet some fucked up shit happens there. <laughs> I'm gonna Google Apache National Forest fucked up shit and see if one thing comes up. <laughs> Apache National Forest. <laughs> That just sounds like every book, like Bigfoot story I've ever heard of. Do you believe in Scary Bigfoot? Scary stories. Uh, in the Apache National Forest. Do you believe in Bigfoot? The ghost of Coyote Trail in the National... Oh, Apache Cutie. Junction. I'm going to be um, brutally honest with you right now. You got to let go of this <gasps> stuff if the what? apocalypse... It says... I knew something was off about that forest. It says... Uh, skinwalker. skinwalker. At that park specifically. Cutie, I'm going to be honest. You have to let go of that stuff if we're going to be in an apocalypse. I knew something was off about You're going to have to be scared of the real things. The zombies. You're going to have to be scared think, of them. And not think, fake things. Do you think they have good stamina? Because wouldn't it be best just to like be on a hill and then we have over... <laughs> stamina. <laughs> <laughs> stamina bar? Is there stamina bar? Replenishing? Stamina. <laughs> stamina. Stamina. <laughs> Anemone. 
Um, yeah, they don't get water? tired. They don't get winded. Zombies don't that's get winded, stupid. but they can't run. Yeah, but that's only that's only Walking Dead zombies. There's other kind of zombies. What oh, if I'm we get talking about Walking unlucky and we get World Z zombies or whatever? Then I don't know. I don't know. Okay, regardless, I guess we're meeting at this fucked up forest. I think, wait, now <gasps> maybe we're we can the Apache the... forest now? Yeah, maybe we can get wait, the skin don't markers on there. our side. I don't want you guys and to come. they'll fight the zombies. Guys, oh. be honest. Hey, podcast listeners, it's the apocalypse. We all join. We need you to fight for us. We need you to be our That's a crazy soldiers. request. <laughs> I need them, Maya. Okay? I need them. Would you die for us? <laughs> Be honest, and if if you wouldn't, just don't even don't even just don't show leave. up. Don't stay show where up. you are. If you don't like us that much, what's the point? We need you to bring ammunition, canned beans. Yeah, but you're not allowed to turn on weapons. Us. You're not allowed gasoline. <laughs> yeah, cars. <laughs> oh, I'm good at gardening. I can make us tomatoes. That's big, but you need tomato seeds. You can learn how I, to forage. I will learn. I will trap a, a hawk and I'll hunt with it. I know how to take raw wheat and turn it into flour and I can make bread. That's crazy. And we could use the yeast from our vaginas. That would be so sick. We yeah. force yeast infections. Yeah. And so then we, we make the bread. Yeast. Wait, what if the yeast infection kills us? It won't. How do we heal it? Is there monostat available? Bring monostat. <laughs> to the Apache forest and bring Advil because I get cramps. Oh, this sounds awful. You know what's crazy? Have you ever thought about in like a not even apocalypse, in like a survival situation? Yeah, what a COVID crazy disadvantage people are at that don't have good vision. Like my boyfriend's vision talked about this. He's he's like blind. Yeah, right? He needs glasses and like severe contacts. If he didn't have glasses out there, or if his glasses broke, like he's dead. Like he can't see. Perfect. See you later, Caleb. Idiot. Is I love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. isn't that crazy to think about, though? Yeah, it's so he's scary. Out. See you later. Like, imagine being That's on an island and you have glasses. You break your glasses. You can't see. Or you yeah, have, have you contacts. Ever heard about Piggy from Lord of the Flies. I don't know what that is. You didn't have to read Lord of the Fry Flies at school. No. Oh, it's all these children. It's a it's a metaphor on government or something. I don't freaking know. And. There's a chubby one that they all call Piggy, and he's got glasses, and they're all alone. They're like a plane crash, but it only had kids on it for some reason. I don't know why. Cool. Um, and the plane crashes, and Piggy, they all call him that because they're mean, and he they drops his glasses, and they, they crack, and so the freaking kid can't see, and it's like so sad. And then he's like looking for his glasses or something, and then the kids up top push a rock on top of him and kill him, and then they like eat him, but then like the next day they're there there's you read this survivors. in high school it was required show up uh hmm someone's gonna have to tell me if i retold that story right that seems insane <laughs> to read see. in high school what i'm here to call it first if there's an apocalypse people Lord are eating each other it's flies. gonna be a common thing you're gonna have to be very very scared of people and not scared of zombies anymore why because everybody's ugly on the inside and everybody wants what's best for themselves and the people that they love and that's it. You're dead. Unless you kill them. That's how it works. I've been watching The Walking Dead a long time, you guys. I know how this works. Yeah, I was close. Uh, he does. He loosens a boulder and kills Piggy. Spoiler alert. Um, and it, it's like every kid is like supposed to represent something. I guess Roger, who kills Piggy, like represents like the inability to adapt to or civilizing impulse or, or something and it's like mm -hmm. a it's it's like one of those annoying things where you have to write what each character represents if we were on an island together no apocalypse no zombies just you and me stranded on an island would you kill me to survive no we that's would nice. die together on the beach that's nice i just don't i'd just be like i'd be like oh if i kill her i'll have no one to talk to what? That's nice. If I kill you, then I get to live for like two more days, but then I still die. That's true. Alone. Well, no, but you could live off of me. You could eat me. For how, like how many days? A lot. 
And you think like the Fortnite drops coming in then? In those maybe no, you last like okay. Let me see. No, you How hang long meat and eat it over. I'm there's a hundred pounds you... on me here. I'm seeing how long could you? No, most of that's bone. You could Survive. eat like you could eat like fifty Off grams of meat of... a day, or something. I'm gonna say you only have sixty pounds of meat on you. That's sixty pounds, probably more than ours, but... of meat. Because it's mostly organs, right? Which you can eat. Mm -hmm. Not all of them. Some of them. We need 16 to 24 ounces a day. Oh, I was so generous. Okay. That's oh, wait. Nothing. According People should be eating four to six ounces three times a day. I don't know. If, no one seems to know. Well, that's uh, maybe I <laughs> Maybe I'd kill you, I guess. Okay. It's a hard thing to Google. Yeah, you probably don't want to Google that. Yeah, I'm scared for what yeah, list I might end not, up on. Not a good thing to Google. Um, um, have you ever heard of like the uh, uh someone's gonna know or it's like the Himalayans, how there's like there's this really weird TikTok uh algorithm that I get on sometimes, or I've seen this. It's the Himalayan mountains, and there's like this uh is it Himalayan where it's like it's like if you see something, no, you didn't, is what they always say. Never, they're like, never. They're like, at night, if you hear something, no, you didn't. I don't get it. Why? Because there's like these creepy entities or whatever, kind of like sex workers. Let Can, me find when it. she says sex workers, she's of... referring to skinwalkers. If you haven't seen an episode before, she doesn't like when I say that. She thinks if you say it, you like call Spooky. them. So she's not, she doesn't mean sex workers, if you're confused. I just feel like I need to add that context. That's fair. I'm saying if you want to learn more about sex workers, go sub to the Patreon because we're gonna we're gonna we get down and dirty over there. Mountain. Uh, okay, Himalayan mountains. If you see something, you saw maybe it's Appalachian mountain mountains. Nothing. It might be Appalachian. Wait, do so you believe it? in Bigfoot? I don't know. I believe that there is some fucked up shit out there that we don't know about. It's not the Himalayans. Someone in someone in the comments is going to know what I'm talking about, though. It's one of the mountain towns where they're like, if you come here, if you're alone, you, like, don't run, just don't look, essentially. It's weird. It's, like, very omni omnious and, like, I don't know. Ominous. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard about it. Dang it. Dang it. It's ruining my... Um, it's ruining this part. The podcast is ruined, I guess. No! We, we can't start talk over again. We restart. Um, okay, so... we're. How are we going to get to this... We don't really have a good... That's why it's better to, like, meet at the Taco Bell or something. Because we're meeting at... Like, this is the place, Heritage Park, that we learned about. That's, like, I a think one we just, part. We meet there, and then we just start yelling. At this is the place or the mountains? The mountains. The well, Apache I Forest. So. Yeah, I don't... It's just so big. I just yell really loud. And you're gonna move faster than me, for sure. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, you're there. gonna yell every day? Sure. There's gotta be some How sort about of like we GPS both start yelling system. at sunrise, we yell for like 30 minutes max. And we just okay. do that every morning. I'll be sleeping at sunrise. No, you can't sleep in in the apocalypse. <laughs> I'm it's, sleeping. No, you're not doing that. You, <laughs> too you get early. Up when the sun comes up during the uh, apocalypse, we start no, yelling. You at probably sunrise. go to bed when the sun's up. Actually, when do you sleep? Uh, you sleep at night. Oh, I have a good idea. We're diurnal. I have a good idea. This okay. is what you do when you need to sleep. You dig a hole. You get in the hole. You cover yourself up. You completely bury yourself, but you have idea. a you have a straw. It's a horrible so then idea. You can sleep under the dirt. The zombies can't find you. You're in the dirt. They'll walk into the hole and fall on top of you. No, 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 no. You're completely. You're, it's a shallow, it's shallow, because you need to be able to dig yourself out. You know, step straw, on it. it has to be straw. They can like, smell you. I've only got a straw. They can't. I'm under the dirt. Okay, I would Why rather sleep in a tree. 
Oh, can they climb? They can't climb. I don't climb? think so. Oh, they can't climb. We Not just in the walking tree dead. people. Yeah, <gasps> we live in tree houses. I have a new idea. Okay. You hear me out. This one's a little crazy. You might not like it. There's this really, really cool tree house. It's like fitted. It's an Airbnb fancy tree house. No, it's cooler than that. Okay. It's fitted. It's kitted. We could live there forever. However, it's called the Swiss Robinson Family Tree House. Uh, and it's really cool and it's awesome. And it opens in Disneyland in about a year. <laughs> Oh my god. We could live there though. Everyone's so gonna happy. wanna live there. Swiss what? Swiss it was the Tarzan trees up treehouse, but it's the Swiss Robinson family treehouse, Disneyland. It's fitted and kitted. It's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna wanna live here. It's so cool. Well, I can get there really fast. Okay, well I can't. What are you gonna defend it until I get there? It's gonna take me a yeah. long time. Yeah. Okay. Because there'll also be lots of food. I get there in five days. No. Standard ground, five days. No. Easy peasy, drive straight. No. If I drove straight and I didn't run into any problems, I could get You're there running out in of like gas. two and a half days. I don't run out of gas. <laughs> you don't know how to siphon. I know how to siphon. I know how to siphon. I siphon one time salt water out of an aquarium. You could siphon, and it's actually really easy. It just is yucky when it gets in your mouth. Yeah, I'll do it, and it'll be fine. Okay. Also, I, I have a hybrid, five days. so I just drive until Binky Bonky dies. Okay, but what happens? What happens if I get there, and there's already people in it? Kill them. <laughs> oh. You gotta, okay. you gotta, you gotta take the treehouse. That's where we're gonna be. It is a good treehouse. Yeah, they have to okay, go. Okay, viewers, listen. Unless if you they're cool, then. We can all live there. Seems I'm like, like a lot of you space. got any weed? Yeah, ask them for weed. Uh, viewers, if you come, I can guarantee you sanctuary in other rides at Disneyland. <laughs> Not Some of in you can live in pirates. You, you can live in the, the Tower treehouse. of Terror. That was in Florida, but that's okay. Damn it! You can what? live. Yeah, they got rid of it in in Hollywood. Or Why? In, yeah. Uh, cause they replaced it with Guardians of the Galaxy cause they're cringe. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Bangle Barbecue is right beneath our treehouse and they have my favorite pickles. So that'd be great for us. And pickles last forever. I'll okay. live off pickles. Okay. Until we need meat. There's no live animals there. There's actually lots of stray cats. What do I do with my cats? They have to come. I'm not leaving them. Swift is not making it. Swift is coming. He's, he's gonna do great. He's not gonna make it. Dude, he's gonna bark and then the zombies will know where we are. Swift's gonna bark at zombies. They're gonna kill him. I could let my dogs out. I think they'd both make it. Swift <gasps> would die. So okay, fast. I'm back to wanting meeting at your house and eating all the goats because also your neighbor has all those dogs that attack. His dogs would kick Oh, I gotta come to It would house. actually be sick to have all those you dogs. You have so many goats. We're gonna have to kill your neighbor. No! No, we don't have to do that. Really? No! He's Why? gonna let us eat his goats? Because he has family. Yes, 100%. Gonna... No, he loves me. He... I know, but he has family, and they're gonna try to come to his farm and eat his goats, and we're gonna no, be like, no, this is our they're farm. Not... They're not going there. Can we kill his family? His family's not gonna up? be there. So we can? Yeah, no, we're not gonna, we don't have to that? kill them. We don't have to kill them. Will you He's ask just gonna him let tomorrow? us stay there. I don't think I need to ask him that. Okay. I don't think I need to have that conversation in real life. Well, I'm in California and I have to go to Texas and there's gonna be so much traffic. There's not gonna leaving, be traffic. Leaving there's not California. Gonna be traffic. Yeah, every zombie movie, it shows everyone on the road at once. Oh, they all die. You gotta, you gotta wait it out like a week and everyone dies on the freeway. You just gotta go around them. Not. How if they take up the whole freeway? I'll be walking. You're not four wheeling and just drive around them. A highway ends. It's high. It's all full. Maya. Oh, I see what you're saying. You yeah. mean if there's like if it's like a, it's like an elevated ramp. Do you think Google Maps works? How do I get there? No. <laughs> hmm. You should have to go. East. I know how to get to Vegas from here. Is it? Are you? Are you on the way from Vegas? No. 
Ooh, that's not good. Vegas is the opposite direction. You should follow the signs. There will still be signs. Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, There'll be signs. It'll be easy. It'll... I'll Give me th a month. I'll Take get there in a month. month. I'll get there in the month, but don't eat all the goats without me. <laughs> I, I couldn't if I wanted to. You know what's gonna be really sad? Hmm. The one we run out of goats and we gotta eat Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> and no, the Winnie. purpose of Winnie was not to eat no. her, and then we have to eat her. We're not eating Winnie. It's not happening. We're eating her. No, we have Winnie. To. I train her with a harness. She plows. She has a job. <gasps> She's not. She can't be eaten. But you also have a donkey and a horse for that. Four plows. <laughs> Lots of rows. Okay. Well, my horse wait. is not for plowing. My horse is for transport. I will ride can we, him to go get can supplies. Can we breed Winnie with anything? Yeah. With what? What do you mean? You need a boy cow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we need to go. F how do we find one? I could. I probably could find a a bull. Do you think you know They're how they make ligers? Could we make a cow goat? No. Has anyone it's tried? Not, it's not possible. No, no coats out there. It's not possible. Are you sure? Yes. Tell me how a chihuahua and a pit bull have a baby, then. They're the same species. Hmm. They're dogs. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Could a buffalo and a cow have a baby together? Possible. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it would have to be artificial insemination. That wouldn't just happen. Hmm. Which I um, don't... I, t I in don't theory have a know how to do. a boy cow. Do you think any of your neighbors have a boy cow we could steal? Yes. Oh, perfect. Easy. My neighbors are cows. Right here. That's really mean. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, really, can there's... we take over their house, too? I don't know where their house is. I cannot see it. But also, I got longer they're going to be right so here. outgunned. They're going to have more guns. No, we got guns. Not as we many have... as them. They're not coming here. Yeah, but I'm stealthy. You want to take oh. their land? And their guns. You're not it's taking Texas, their guns. Baby. They yeah. don't like when you take their guns. They don't no, like no, when no, anyone no. takes <gasps> their guns. We give them a peace offering, but it's a poisonous pie. Especially if they know you're from California. They don't know. They will hate you. They'll know. I blend in. Oh, I'll say, hey, y'all. Good. Audio listeners, Maya thumbs it up so many times. She was like, wow. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, shoot. I do think we have a good chance here. Um, we, we just have to split up responsibilities. You need to learn things, I need to learn things. Um, we gotta get a GPS. There's gotta be a non... There's Britt would know. She's a doom prepper. I'll ask her. There's gotta be a GPS. We just have to have it in our backbones if we need it. I think the thing we would really be screwed out is when like the AI robots take over because I like we're just gonna have to team up with space and maybe That's he'll so know much to program them or something. It's so yeah, much it worse is. than zombies. We'll need the programmers on our side. We got programmers. That's that's fine. Know, we we have space. We got Chuck. I have Amroot. But why do they want to save us? Guys, if you don't save us, the podcast ends. <laughs> <laughs> we can't film. Wouldn't that be cringe? That'd be so there cringe. Wouldn't it be a wine of the week? Wait, we know how to use tech. We'd be fine. We could do it. No. <laughs> no, I couldn't get my headset to work today for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I heard about that. It's really sad. Do you think there's some women in STEM we could befriend? There are some. I don't think they would like us. Did you see Nadia kiss her friend? I don't know. I'm not sure who that is. It was an awesome clip on LSF. Whoa. <laughs> Nadia, she's a Call of Duty streamer. She's very funny, actually. Oh. But her kissed. and her friend smooched on stream. Smooched. It was actually like... It was like a kiss, man. It was not Aww. like a... It was not like me and Austin show kissing at shit camp. It was like... It was like it was like Ludwig and Austin show kissing at shit camp. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was tongue and everything. It was crazy. Oh, whoa. Sad you missed it. It was one of my favorites that I've seen thus far. Um, 
Okay, I had one more topic before the episode ended, but I think it'll take up too much time. So I'm not going to do that. Next time. Next time. Do you have anything else you want to say this week that's important? Oh, I have a quick one mm. that I think is fun. Um, I just finished. Uh, we've been judging applications for Streamer Camp. That's the next project I've been working on. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it's it's interesting because we only we have to judge if we want like people to come to this camp based off we have three questions that we ask them we say why do you want to come tell me about yourself uh and like if you had unlimited budget what what would you make essentially Mm, like what content piece would you make and that's been kind of the biggest thing for me i'm like if it's something i would do you got a high score if it's something that i've done but like twisted in a creative way high score if it's something you know like If it's something that is no creativity and it's just like, I'm going to do Survivor with streamers. It's like, okay, Survivor streamers. Then Mm -hmm. it's like, eh, whatever. And then some of them are just like, I will upgrade my setup. And it's like, (laughs) unlimited budget. You're upgrading. That's what you're doing? Like, oh, you know. Yeah. Um, So it's kind of an interesting and hard to do. Plus, we watch a clip of them, which is also interesting because some people will just do like montages of them like being like, let's go. And like, thanks for the subs. And you're like what am i supposed to i don't know yeah. so my question for you maya is if you wanted to come to streamer camp what would you say to if you had unlimited budget what content create piece would you make unlimited budget yeah um I would probably start, I would probably have a zoo, like San Diego zoo style that's open to the public and I just have endless fucking security, just endless security. So people can come Uh in and see everything and then also have, you you can be in a program, like a, a species survival plan where you have endangered animals that you breed in captivity and release to the wild. And so yeah, I hard. would have endangered animals breed them at the facility. Public doesn't get to see them because then they get habituated to people and that's no good. And I would breed them in captivity and then I would stream with like crazy tech and like crazy good video and audio going to Africa or going to South America or going to Peru or wherever and releasing them. That'd be nice. So it's kind of like what I'm doing. Just like larger scale. Just upgra- upgraded? Yeah, I have a bunch of employees. Just like kick-ass employees. Just... I've um I've always wanted to do like, this, which is funny because someone put this as their idea, but I've, I think I've said this idea to you before. I've said it on stream before. I've always wanted to do Disney Channel games, but with different communities. So there was this thing called the Disney Channel games where like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and Hannah Montana and Wizards of Waverly Place, like all these characters would get together and they would like compete in stupid little like obstacles, kind of like the challenge oh, yeah, yeah. on MTV or whatever. No, yeah, I've talked that. about this. Yeah. And I want to do like the W community has a team, the Flowers yeah. community has a team, International has a team, whatever, you know? Um and that's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but it's just so expensive and I don't have the bandwidth. But That'd, That'd be, be very cool. cool. I like that idea. Yeah. I like that. One one person had this really good idea that I, I loved. Uh, you Jelly, actually. She had this idea. It was It's kind of a funny idea where you get a house, like The Bachelor, right? And it's kind of like Among Us. You get 10 people together, but one of them's a virgin. And everyone has to, like, figure out who the virgin <laughs> is through, That's like, social... Funny. Yeah, but then the twist is, is they're all virgins. <laughs> That's so funny. And so they they all think they're the mole, but then the whole time they're like, yeah, I have so much sex. Like, <laughs> so funny. That's really good. That's a really good idea. Yeah. So I uh, I thought that was really funny. Um, and then Denims is another streamer. It's she not repeatable, though. That sucks. Yeah, because then once they know, they know. Right. Um, denims is uh sorry there's a car outside my house but it looks like an uber eats delivery for the neighbor um denims is another streamer and she submitted one that she wants to do a show called are you smarter than an e-girl and like show like get really smart because there's like like Candyland. like she was freaking in like engineer you know like she's actually a genius but she Mm -hmm. plays up medical school 
No, she was an engine. She was like an oh. engineer of some kind, like insane. And like, there's a lot of women in the space that are really smart. And there's a lot of women in the space that don't show how smart they are because you're more approachable to the audience on Twitch if you pander in certain ways. And you gotta, if you want to hustle, you got to hustle. I get it. Um, but essentially, Denim's idea is like grabbing some of these women that are geniuses and uh, putting them up against these fucking Discord freaks or Twitter freaks in a in a show about mm -hmm. who's smarter, right? Yeah. Um, which is so hype. I think it's such a, a fun it's idea. A idea. And I, yeah, and I, it was so good. I was like, I could, like, I'm down to work with you on this. Mm. Um, but it's one of those things where it would have to be in person and, it, it, you know, because otherwise people yeah. cheat and... Ha okay, yeah. Yeah. Because imagine guys losing to a girl, like cheat. especially that stereotype of a guy, they would cheat. They would cheat. Yeah. Um, they would have someone in their ear or, you know, something. So it wouldn't be worth it. But um, we'd have to do it in person, which would be hard to source. But I think yeah, it'd it would. be fun. That's a good do. idea, though. Yeah, it's a really good idea. I think it's like kind of hype. I think it'd be really entertaining. And yeah. But the thing that made me nervous about that thought or that idea is like, what happens when they are smarter than the e girl? Right, not good. It's it not has good. to go. It ha I was thinking that too. It has to go one way. Yeah. Which then, why am I watching? Right. So I don't know. Those are some kinks that I, I kind of want to think on. But yeah, it's it's been an interesting process. Uh, Fusli is so funny. I've never really? collabed with her. I've like never to this extent, her. she is really freaking funny. I don't know. Wow. Myung is also really funny, and they're both funny in very unique ways. Cool. Um. Yeah. And Boxbox Box is so, uh, he's so quirky in like the fun, like not in like a, when I say quirky, some people are like condescending, but it's like, no, it's quirky and like, he comes to our house and he's like, can I have, can I have a cup of water? And I'm like, of course. And he goes in the kitchen. He's like looking at the tech stuff and like, he's like, do you guys have any cool gadgets? And I'm like, you're sick. Like Boxbox Box is sick. So it's kind of been cool to get to know them. And it's funny because their audience is so different than mine. Yeah. That's great. That's big. Yeah. Cool, yeah, you're so gonna be famous. Cool. Well, I don't know about that, but oh. cool. It's cool. It's a cool process. I will say to anyone who watches this that maybe applied or thought about applying, you gotta you gotta work on your a lot of people's like, why do you want to come to streamer camp? A lot of them are like to meet people. To make friends. Yeah, it's like, uh, I think that's a bad question, but I think it's like then be creative if it's a bad question figure out how to be creative like yeah. i want to come to streamer camp because i know that i could finally get cutie cinderella's secret brownie recipe that she doesn't tell anybody because blah blah you know like i don't know shit like that yeah um, all right well they're gonna yeah. be famous yeah we're gonna make them famous that's cool actually that's kind of exciting I, it'd be crazy if someone like big came out of there well, they've done it a few years. Uh, one of their, like, season... Jody and John were, like, their season one people. They huh? were small streamers. Now they're both big. Yeah. That's There's, like, quite crazy. a few... crazy. Peter, Peter Park went to their their camp. Uh, Christopher huh? Yee went to their camp. Huh? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know this was a thing. Yeah. I thought... I didn't know it had been done before. Sometimes it's not about, like... It's not about, like... Like, oh, I, f I found you because you're so talented. It's like seeing these people that are like already talented, not taking credit for it, but giving them a platform to oh, for sure. showcase that. Right. Just, yeah. it, it becomes a snowball effect. So mm -hmm. hopefully that will, it'll be beneficial to people. I hope so. Cool. But we're doing this cool thing when we get down to the, like the final 32, essentially. I think mm -hmm. it's the final 32. Maybe it'll be like 20. So there's less. We're gonna like live. We're gonna be live interviewing them like this kind of. Yeah. Um, and if we want them to, if they're in the top sixteen, that's flying out to LA. We're gonna like be interviewing them, and as you want them, you hold up a flag like the Voice, and then they have to choose whose team they're on because each, each of us so is four sick. people. Yeah. So I think it'll be entertaining. That's so sick. What a good idea. But it'll be sad when, uh, like you know. At, like box box's team is full me young's team is full leslie's team is full and, and nobody I'm wants like, you <laughs> yeah Pretty wow funny. wait so how many are you gonna get each person gets four so okay. four teams of four so 16 are flying that's out. so sick i love yeah. that idea yeah and it's essentially the same format as like girls trip or whatever like i got a big house in la for everyone well, misfits did so. for just your team or for all of them no for all of them so they're oh. all gonna stay together and like hopefully like whatever wow but there are going to be eliminations 
um, in efforts to like higher the stakes and also to be able to do different varieties of content because there's only so many things you can do with 16 people in the same yeah. room yeah so and so that's kind like, of an are, interesting thing that want to be there and are trying yeah. to be funny yeah and, like, so it's like entertaining. yeah so like those things are going to be like turn oriented where it's like okay it's your turn to do like an improv show or whatever you know yeah um and then Damn, they're so brave yeah. i could never yeah so i that's mean it's amazing. cool though it, it reminds me of like without like austin show doing his shows it's hard to it's hard to be given that platform um the same way that it right. used to be so yeah. i think it's kind of like a cool even though i think we're somewhat we're gonna be smaller than like austin shows were mm -hmm. back in the day but it's still a cool idea i think 10k for 10k viewers for a streamer who normally averages 50 pretty dope that's great yeah even if you like even if you impress what one percent of that you just gained 100 viewers mm -hmm. One percent ain't that bad, baby. It's pretty sick. So anyway, cool. Yeah, cool. so that's what that's we're working exciting. on. It's very cool. I'm excited to watch it. Actually, yeah, it should be. We're the application process is going to be hard because we go from right now we're at 128 and we're reviewing applications every day. We're doing 32 each day on each of our streams, Damn. but we're cutting it down to 64. Yeah. So it goes that's from crazy. 128 to 64 to 32 to 16. Jeez yeah that's hard i would feel bad yeah it's i will say from the 128 to the 64 it's not that hard yet because it's kind of like you can see who really put effort and who mm -hmm. like it's Six hard the hardest thing is is some people just seem sweet mm -hmm. and you're like they seem so sweet but like where's that star factor baby you know like <laughs> It's showbiz, baby. Yeah, it's showbiz, baby. Like, yeah. If I don't, if I don't leave your application and by tomorrow remember your name, right? Then it's right, like, right. then it wasn't that good of an application. Yeah. Which is sad, but true. Makes sense. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Um, big shout out to we gained two hundred subscribers to our Patreon. Uh, we gained more than that. We gained seven hundred. Two hundred. We gained almost a thousand. Oh, we've gained almost a thousand. It's I'm like sorry, nine hundred or something. I saw the seven thousand two hundred, and I already assumed we were at seven thousand, <laughs> but we weren't. Anyway, no, we we've gained nine hundred subs to the Patreon. So thank you guys so so much. I assume we grifted a little bit off the yard, but that's show business, baby. <laughs> we do a lot on the Patreon, you guys. We do way more on the Patreon than we do on YouTube. Yeah, we. So we're gonna try. go there now for the bonus episode where we're gonna watch this Scary thing. Movie. Uh, bonus episode is going to include the scary movie and then we also have weekly trash uh, TV reacts. We owe the Patreon a react to the a whole ass documentary. I do Taylor talks every week and Maya does animal things that she might switch to TikTok time. I'm going to alternate. I do, yeah, that's what I do a like. thing on like a cool animal. I give you party facts like icebreaker facts about crazy animals and then um, I'm going to react to my TikTok, TikToks on Patreon um, and then we also do weekly exclusive episodes on patreon yeah so we're gonna go record Some that exclusive episode right yeah. now um as well as uh tier threes get stuff mailed to them and we also have a discord that has a movie night that we don't go to because we're not your friends i'm not um, even in the discord i'm gonna be honest she's not in the discord we don't we're not your friends it's for you to make friends it's of like-minded individuals discord. it's for you guys it's for you guys but there is movie nights um Every every week. So if you want to watch a movie with some like-minded winos, get out Cute. there, babies. Cute. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the support. I hope uh, I hope everyone's good. Like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.